Hey everyone, welcome back to The Funny Farm. I'm Derek, this is The Funny Farm's house. This is our newly renovated family den and our office. So this is part of my office Something right here. Something I really wanted to talk about in today's video is our heating and cooling bill at the farmhouse. This house was finished in 1953. Really, it's not that old, but we're having a ton of issues with heating and cooling costs, especially six months out of the year. It's extremely high. So taking a detour on this video and we're gonna go ahead and insulate part of the basement. We're gonna complete our rim joist today and our sail plate ceiling. And I think that's gonna help stop and prevent a lot of air leaks in this house. We recently had our house tested by our local company and uh, for free, and they found that we have an extremely leaky house. So we figured we'd start in the basement and then we would DIY our way up and have a second video, a part two, doing our attic space, which has no insulation at all. So buckle up, stick around for the video. Hope you find this enjoyable. I hope you find this to be some good value for our area, which is in Pittsburgh, meaning it's a climate five zone. So keep that in mind if you're doing something like this at your own house. Also in this house, uh, I covered up some areas. There was a crack here, a big hole from something. I sealed in um, some around this door, this basement door along with the bottom of the door, there was a huge gaping hole down there. Well, the majority of our wires coming from our panel, there was also a big hole here that I filled in. I also went through and tried to tape around any of the duct work, the AC, furnace, return lines, anything I saw in the house that I thought might have a leak. Okay, for the two inch poly board here, I had it mapped out. I did 12 inches, I did 12 inches and five inches. <clears throat> so I only need 40 of these. I believe on here there are 64. Let me count. That's all I'm after. I'm going to cut each one of these out nice and straight to use. Okay, I was right. We have eight rows and eight columns. Eight times eight is 64, and we only need 40. I have a second board not used. I'm hoping I can cut some of these and place them over the windows just for a little bit before we get new window inserts next year. I think all this will really help with sealing off some of this basement. We're getting a lot of heat in the summer and a lot of cool air in the winter uh, coming up through and then rising through our, our old home. Foam board cuts nicely on the table saw. What you gotta do, cut this four by eight in half and then attack each of the columns or rows you don't want to go fully. You want to cut each one of these like half, spin it around, cut it. Don't <clears throat> cut it to where it's um, going to fly off and it wants to go flying because you cut it and this wheel spinning. Cut it really close and then take it off and you can just snap it off. That's the best, easiest, safest way to do this. And make sure to wear some gloves, some eye protection. This stuff gets everywhere. Maybe even some really really ugly clothes. We're making, we are making quick work of this. So I'm now gonna install these in the rim joist area. Now I left a half inch on all sides, meaning one inch total up and down, left and right. So it should fit nice and snug in the areas that don't have wires or any piping. So I'll place these in and then I'll spray foam around the edge of this. And then once we do that, we'll put our rock wool and we'll seal the seal plate. Just like so. All right, so I have all the individual pieces in, and now I'm gonna go through and spray foam around. So I'm gonna spray foam around, make sure it's about that two inches or a little bit more around the edge of all of these individual pieces. I picked up the absolute cheapest stuff I could via Lowe's. I have everything linked below. This is just great stuff, gaps and cracks up to one inch, which is really what this all is, about a half inch all around. Gonna be really careful. Make sure you don't break any of these off, although I bought a case. So I have plenty spares if needed, but hope to return some of them. Again, super critical. Make sure to wear some eye protection, wear gloves. This stuff is nasty, gets all over the place. Just be careful, take your time. I'm gonna be using this to seal the sill plate. Something cheap and effective.
we'll let this sit for a little bit, maybe for a day or half day, once you open it. I'm gonna cut the rock wool to fit inside each of these rim joist areas, these uh, cavities. So now the rock wool can be added into these cavities to give us even more insulation. It's really important you don't want these compressed in there. That R value works the best when they are full. They're cut to 14 inches here, and then they are cut eight inches down. So they fit that crevice really nicely. They're tight, but they're not compacted. I wanted to give you guys an update at the end of this video. Um, I'm gonna do a update on part two when we had that out as well. I want to do like a three month and a six month update on, you know, how this has affected our, our billing for our gas, which we have a gas furnace, and then for our electric, of course. So our electric bill on average, we have a full, I have a four year average at, we use West Penn Power. I think that's an Edison electric. So we have four years, we can go back and check that out. And our average is $194 for the bill due in April. So this bill was $156. And the average temperature really hasn't changed much over those four years either. So approximately a $40 or so less bill than what we've seen. Also for our gas bill, which again, we have a gas furnace, the MCF usage is 10 for that month. The typical usage, I don't have as many data, but I do have three years of data on that. It's typically 14. So it was a 13 and a 14, and now it's a 10. So that MCF usage has dropped by about three or four. Each one of those is about $10. So about 30 to $40 there. So we've saved approximately $80 in just this one month. That could be for some other reasons. So I will update a three month. So uh, in the for June, I will I will send out, I will list in the comments what our, our usages have been. I expect these to stay very similar, 50 to $80, maybe more, maybe less. So please make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know if this helped you out. If there's something you would do differently, please comment that below as well. And again, if you would like to see the part two, working through our addict, and just an update on all of this, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.